Derek, congratulations on the publication of your book. You've called it a memoir rather than an autobiography. Any particular reason why? Uh, no, I didn't call it a memoir. It's the uh, publishers who call it a memoir. <laughs> <laughs> it is, in fact, the memoir of a, a long period of time. About 44 years I had to sort of think back on, which is tough. You've had a, a long and varied career. Actor, writer, script editor, TV producer, house builder, restauranteur, and allegedly bungee jump proprietor, to name but a few notches that are on your belt. You, you sound like a man who likes a challenge. Uh, that's true, um, but I'm a man who also likes a change. And I, I, I really adore uh, a new challenge and the change that brings with it. I started off as a, as a screen, as a, 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 a painter in, in the theatre, a designer, and then progressed from there, from actor, da -da 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 -da, all the way up the line. So I've had a lot of experience. How did you first come to get involved with Doctor Who? Uh, I was asked by, I believe it was Sean Sutton, who called me in and said, would I like to be a story editor on Doctor Who? Your uh, first uh, assistant story editor, because the producer was leaving, and then story editor Peter Bryan was taking over his production uh, executive. And uh, so I then moved up to script, uh, script editor. I was at the time, anyway, a, a freelance writer. I'd written lots of plays and this, that and the other. And uh, I'd done a lot of uh, serial work uh, on television, so I, I knew the complications of writing for uh, serialised stories. You moved up the, the ladder, if we can call it that, to become producer fairly quickly then? Yes. Uh, I moved up, I suppose, I can't remember the time it took, but uh, Probably about six months. Um, I believe the relationship between Patrick Troughton and Peter Bryant or wasn't always the most the best natured one. That's true, but it wasn't necessarily anybody's fault. It was a fault of the weight of work for on Patrick Troughton. And he just found it very uh, hard going. There were so many uh, words to learn on the script every week. We did 42 shows a year, don't think. That's, that's no small, uh, no small of an accomplishment. And uh, Patrick, therefore, had to work an awful lot. And the scripts weren't that good then. Peter was script editor, and uh, it wasn't really his game. And so the conflict between the two of them was about script and, and uh, quantity of work. So Pat had made the decision to leave before you even got involved, perhaps? Well, the, no, no, he hadn't decided to leave them. It, it came up on a recording day, uh, I can't remember what the show was, but um, uh, Patrick Troughton wasn't very happy because he, he was overloaded with work and he didn't like the scripts at all because, say, Peter wasn't a, not a script man. Um, so one day, recording in the studio, um, they both blew their tops. I mean, Patrick, because he was angry, uh, didn't like the script and didn't know what was happening. And Patrick, uh, Peter, because he was the, uh, the producer, got angry and went down. They had to write Barney on the floor. And finally, uh, Pat said, Buggery, I'm going to leave. I'm going to hand my notice in. And Peter said, good, it saves me firing it. <laughs> so, so it was a big to-do in, in, in this studio. And so that was the way it worked. Pat said he wasn't going to do it anymore. Peter said, let's look for a new Doctor Who. That brings me beautifully on to asking about the casting process that eventually gave us the third Dr. John Perper. You were heavily involved in it then. Absolutely. Well, as Peter was taken over as, as a producer, um, I had all the responsibility of, of making sure everything worked as far as the format was concerned So, and the writing. So um, we had long discussions between the two of us using the spotlight casting director. We went through must be a dozen or so. Uh, different actors, and I don't know if it was with Peter or me, but Sunday one lunchtime, I think we were probably both well on the way to being pissed. <laughs> we, uh, we we came across uh, John Pertwee because we wanted to lighten up the thing a bit. You know, we thought John was the right guy for that, and he, he, so it turned out to be. So, do you want to know quite how it came about? I'm not sure. 
but it was a long process. I was going to ask you why you decided to leave, but I think you sort of answered that to an earlier question. You, you like new challenges, so did you feel that having got the new man in and having got his first show done, you thought that's, that's no, a good No, it wasn't time? that. I was going to stay on producing the series. I was quite happy to do that, and I adored working with John Pertwee, and we had some good directors like Douglas Camfield and whatnot involved in it, so it was, I was looking forward to producing Doctor Who bringing it up to date and down to earth, which is what I'd done with UNIT. Uh, but Peter was then seconded to a series, I think, and he was given the job of producing um, the Durbridge series. Francis, Francis Durbridge. Oh, Paul Temple. Yeah. And uh, Peter got across there and found that he had no scripts, had to change the cast, update the, the format of the program, and he couldn't cope. So he asked if I would come across and, and take over all the story editing, the restructuring of the series, because he just couldn't do it, it wasn't his game. And so he asked if I would go across, and Sean Sutton said, well, why don't you go and do it? Again? <laughs> Bring something else back to life? Sure. And so uh, I was seconded, and I said I wouldn't do it unless I became joint producer. On the series, I wouldn't do it as a, just purely as a script editor. That you know, it meant I had to cope with Peter as well. <laughs> so uh, I said yes, I'd go across as long as I became joint producer, which they said yes. And I went across and had to join, but John Perkins was furious because we'd gotten on so well, and I brought him into it and eased him into his first, first or second series. I can't remember what series. But uh, that was the, the process.